Flag and forget. Understanding the phrase. Hello, language enthusiasts. In today's video, we're diving into the fascinating world of English idioms, specifically the phrase, flag and forget. This idiom might sound a bit cryptic at first, but don't worry, we'll break it down together. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand what it means but also how to use it in your daily conversations. Flag and forget is an intriguing phrase that combines two distinct actions, flagging and forgetting. To flag something generally means to mark it as important or noteworthy. In contrast, to forget is to cease to remember. When these two actions come together in this idiom, they create a somewhat contradictory notion. Essentially, flag and forget refers to the act of marking something as important but then failing to follow up or address it later. It's like setting a reminder for yourself and then ignoring it when it pops up. To better understand, flag and forget, let's look at some examples. 1. In the workplace, Imagine a scenario where your boss asks you to mark important emails for later review. You flag these emails, but due to a busy schedule, you forget to go back and address them. This is a classic case of flag and forget. 2. Personal life. Consider you've made a mental note, flagged, to buy a gift for a friend's birthday. However, as the day approaches, you completely forget about it. Again, this is an instance of flag and forget. How can we avoid falling into this trap? Here are some tips. Set effective reminders. Instead of just flagging tasks, set reminders that are hard to ignore. Prioritize tasks. Learn to prioritize flagged items based on their importance and urgency. Regular review. Make it a habit to regularly review items you flag to ensure nothing slips through the cracks. Flag and forget is a quirky but relatable phrase that captures a common human experience. Now that you understand its meaning and how to avoid it, you can use this phrase confidently in your English conversations. Thanks for watching, and we hope this video has been enlightening. Keep practicing, and see you in our next language adventure.